Mtazamaji unakumbuka tukisungumzia swala lake Maina Njenga aliyekuwa kiongozi wa mungiki hapa nchini. Siku ya Jumatatu ameweza kuwasilishwa mahakamani na kisha mahakama ikaweza kumpata na makosa ambayo serikali imeweza kumwekea. Je, ni makosa gani haya? Pia mahakama imeweza kuamuru kwamba Maina Njenga pamoja na wenzake ambao ni ndugu zake waweze kusalia waweze kusalia kizuizini yani waendelee kubaki kwa rumande hadi kipindi ambapo mahakama itakapoamuru kesi yake mahakama iliweza kukiuka amri ya mahakama iliyoweza kutoa hukumu mnamo siku ya Ijumaa kwamba aweze kuachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi laki moja Karibu ichindi cho kituwe chako na ambari moja cha Kenya ni midi ambacho kina kusogezea matukio mbao ya nendelea panchini. Jine langu na famiga kama Mr. Ego 8. Mtazamagi na isi kuambu na pito na mingi kabisa iwapo haujaweza kupiga subscription. Ukichukua atuwa yako weze kupiga a subscription ya niweze kubunyeza subscription. Kisha weze kubunyeza notification bell. Weze kuitano on mtazamagi itingizike. Alafu kisha uweze kulike video ukiguzwa unaweza ukaishia utakuwa umejikatia tikiti ya moja kwa moja kuweza kupata matukio yetu pindi tu tunapo ya upload ingekuwa ni vizuri kipindi ambapo na comment uweze kutujuza mkoa wako ambao unatoa kama mahali ambapo ulipo sasa hivi kama wewe ni mtu wa plus 254 Kenya tuweze kutujuza ama uweze kutujuza uh, kaunti yako kama uko nje ya taifa la Kenya tafadhali tunakuomba uweze kutujuza mahali ambapo upo sasa hivi tuweze kuona mahali ambapo tumeweza kufika mtazamaji utawala ambao upo mamlakani kipindi ambapo umeweza kukukamata kama wewe ni mtu ambaye ni prominent yani mtu ambaye anajulikana ambaye tuseme for example umeweza kukaa tisho kwao lazima waweze kukuwekea makosa lazima waweze <laughs> kuplant wanaita eh kuplant kuplant kukuwekea makosa umeweza kuona tuliweza kugusia swala lake aliyekuwa kiongozi wa mungiki hapa nchini Maina Njenga aliweza kukamatwa mnamo wiki iliyopita siku ya Jumatano unajua sheria inasema kwamba mtu asikose kuwasilishwa mahakamani chini ya masai na mane. lakini bwana Maina Njenga ameweza kuwasilishwa mahakamani baada ya siku kadhaa Ebuji ulize tangia Wednesday last week up to today on Monday 24th July. Si hivyo ameweza kukiuka amri. Pia mtazamaji uh, unakumbuka Poli ni Njoroge ambaye aliweza kukamatwa yule bloga wa muungano wa Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya ameweza kuwekewa makosa kwamba aliweza kupatikana na madawa ya kulevya aina ya cocaine. Umeweza kuona serikali nayo iko na vituko kweli wameweza kuwekea polini Njoroge kwamba aliweza kupatana ama aliweza kupatikana kwa mkoba wake handbag ya kina dada ambao wanabeba akiwa na madawa ya cocaine ya polini Njoroge yalikuwa by the away tuweze kugeukia yake former mungiki leader Maina Njenga ameweza kuamurishwa aweze kusalia kizuizini jinsi ambavyo unaona ilo tutalizungumzia kwa na mbele mtazamaji jinsi ambavyo bwana Gachagua anampiga bwana Maina njenga vita. Jinsi ambavyo unaona mtazamaji, uh, chapicho linasema kwamba uh, linasema kwamba former mungiki leader John Maina Njenga was on Monday judged before Ma Kadara court with being in the possession of, of offensive weapons that were believed to be used against the public order. Unaweza kuona aliweza kuwasilishwa mahakamani mtazamaji kisha Maina Njenga akaweza kusomewa mashtaka kwamba aliweza kupatikana akiwa na silaha hatari. Nilikwambia Paulini Njoroge yeye aliyekewa madawa ya kulevya kwa sababu yeye ni dada. Haya, kaka yetu ama baba yetu kwa sababu ni mzee tunafaa kumuita jina la heshima. Okay, baba yetu. Mm, huyu mungiki e, former mungiki leader Maina Njenga yeye ameweza kuwekewa kwamba aliweza kupatikana akiwa na vifaa ama ukipenda zana za vita weapons umeweza kuona ambazo zingeenda kutumika kipindi cha maandamano ya siku tatu umeweza kuona 
Jenga was a charged alongside his brother Peter Njoroge and Felix Ratu. Mweza kuona. So, yani, mimi ni kamatu ye, ndugu yangu mdoga kamatu ye, alafu sister yangu wa kamatu, kwa sababu tukua satu. Sister yangu wa kamatu, kwa sababu, maybe tukuna vifa, wote tuwekewa makosa ya the same. Mweza kuona. The judge sheet indicated that they had been found within 14 machetes. Mweza kusikia vitu ambavyo wa mweza kumwekea mtazamaji. Yani akiwa na 14 machetes, 24 Maasai swords. Na hizi swords ambazo Maasai wa wanakuwa nazo, maybe unakuta kwamba ni kasherevi wanatumia kuchinja nyama. Mweza kuna mtazamaji, tukwamba alikuwa na hizo 24. Alafu 46 rungus and 3 jembe sticks in circumstances which raised a reasonable presumption that the weapons were intended to be used in a pretty sure to a public order. Mweza kusikia, mweza kumweke makosa, aya, machete kumi na hine, masai swords shirini na hine, 46 rungus and 3 jembes. Iti kuamba, angeenda kutumia kufanya nini kwenye mapigano. Mweza kuna mtazamahaji, Lakini serikali yaki ya mungu kiu mekamatu unayekewa makosa. Siye ti mtazamaji na cheka, mimi na cheka jisa ambavu serikali uwa kipindi ambapo inataka kukuteremusha chini ama wameweza kuona kwambu unataka kuje kuwapeo pinzani flani, wanataka waweze kukwekea viji makosa ili weze kukosa, uweze kukosa value. Meweza kuona. They allegedly committed the offense on July 20th in the Kisirian area within Kajiado County. Unaelewa kipindi ambapo maina njenga aliweza kukamatu, aliweza kukamatu akiwa unyumbani kuwa upande wa Kisirian. Alikuwa meenda kuona baba yake ambaye alikuwa na ugua. Hmm? The three were charged with a second count that on the same dates and places they were in preparation to commit a felony by being, uh, by being in possession of the weapons. <laughs> John Father said the accused persons jointly organ organized an unlawful assembly and procession scheduled to take place within Nairobi City County and other parts of the country. Iti kwamba maina njenga alikuwa meandama andamano. Hmm. Upande wa Nairobi County alikuwa mepangiwa kuja kuongoza maandamano upande wa Nairobi County pamoja na maineo mengine. Iyo ni mahaka mamtazamaji meweza kusema. They denied the charges before Chief Magistrate Francis Kaimbia. Waliweza kukata. Sasa unaweza kukubali kitu ambacho mtazamaji umeweza kwekeo makosa. Serekali tunajua kwanza kabisa kazi yao ni kuplant makosa. Polini njoroge ya tatawa api kukini. Awa watatawa api hizo vitu mtazamaji. Ah, serekali ya ruto. Don't oppose the release on bond of maina njenga but not to the second and third accused it. Persons. Ivo wale wengine wale achiliwa. Maina njenga, unajua watu si mungano, mimi kufikiria kwangu. Mungano wa azmi umeweza kutangaza kwamba mba, munamu siku ya jumatano ni maandamano. Wewe umeweza kuona mbona wameweza kumuzuia. Wameweza kumuzuia wa muachilie kesho. Ikifika kesho wa seme tena azuiliwe kidogo. Ili asiende kuanda maandamano. Umeweza kuona mtazamaji. Kulingana nami, si kulingana na chapisho. Ni kulingana nami ni nasema aje kwa sababu maandamano ya takuja kuandaliwa jumatano, maybe wameweza kumzuia, asiende kuanda maandamano. Meweza kuona mtazamagi. The DPP argued that there is a likelihood that Njenga may commit more crimes on offensive from the record of his character as he was recently judged in Nakuru. Yani wanasema kwamba, uh, maina njenga iwapa angeweza kuachiliwa, angeenda kutekeleza um, um, walifu mwingi kulingana na vile aliweza kufikisho maakamani uh, ivi karibuni upande wa nakuru. Na kumbuka kuna kile kipindi ambapo aliweza kukamatwa, alafu maafisa wa polisi wakaweza kukimbizana na wafuasi wake. Meweza kuona. The court also had njenga is an influential person and is likely to, uh, to instill fear and harm witnesses that will come to give evidence uh, to give evidence to the charges presented in the uh, court. Maina njenga ni politician, squeeze unajua ameweza kuchipuka yupo ndani ya mungano wa azmiyo. So, maina njenga anajulikana. Waliweza kuwagopa iwapo wataweza kumuashiria. Maina njenga ni mtu ambaye anajulikana. Wenda kafanya nini? Wacha turudia patusiji tukongea mamba ambayo si 
uh, ya ukweli. The court also had Jenga is an influential person and is likely to instill fear and harm. Yani yangeenda kuwakusanya wafuasi wake waweza kuleta uoga hapa nchini. Lakini serikali <laughs> the uh, prosecution added uh, that uh, Jenga uh, Jenga is life is under threat uh, from other outlawed section and other accomplices at are at large and uh, Jenga may influence them not to be arrested if uh, if released. Yaani wanasema kwamba iwapo angeweza kuachiliwa kuna wale ambao wanafaa ku, kukamatwa <laughs> kuna wale ambao sasa hivi yani serikali imepanga kukamata watu kuna wale ambao wamepangiwa kukamatwa na iwapo bwana Maina Njenga angeweza kuachiliwa huenda wale ambao wamepangiwa kukamatwa wasije wakakamatwa kwa sababu ataenda kuwachochea wasikamatwe akia Mungu serikali through their 14 lawyers led by Haran Ndubi the accused bleeded for lenient bond terms stating that their rights were violated having uh, charged uh, past 24 hours mweza kuona kile kitu ambacho ni kueleza sheria inasema kwamba ukikamatwa uweze kufikishwa mahakamani kabla ya masai sherini na mane kukamilika yakipita hapo hapo wameweza kuvunja sheria lakini serikali ya zakai inasikia hiyo kweli however the magistrate ruled that they are a relevant independent body about uh, bodies uh, to lodge complaints and uh, delegations of duties in the absence of DPP the court was urged to release the suspect on free bond nakumbuka waliweza ya walikuwa wamesema kwamba maina njenga achiliwe kwa dhamana ya shilingi laki moja lakini wapi there was a brief argument in court when police officer in plain clothes tried to prevent njenga from taking medicines are brought to him by his family members. Yaani mpaka madawa. Unakumbuka mtazamaji mara ya mwisho walisema kwamba Maina Njenga alikuwa mgonjwa. Sasa hivi aliletewa madawa hospitalini ajaribu kumeza lakini daktari yani afisa wa DC akakata. Kwa nini wanataka kumuua? Mtazamaji ukiwa mgonjwa sio meza tembe ili uweze kupona. Alafu hawa sasa wanataka kumzuia asije akameza tembe. Da Kenya yetu. <laughs> Dubi Dubi complained uh, bitterly which led to the intervention of the magistrate, mag magistrate who allowed Njenga to take his medicines as he saw no problem with it. Serikali inakataa mahakama inasema acha kunywe dawa zake. Kwa nini wanataka afariki? Serikali yetu haki ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo ukiwa mgonjwa mtazamaji auruhusiwe kuja kumeza tembe. Eh? Auruhusiwe kuja kumeza tembe ndio unauliza. The defense added that the three had been held in communi in communicado uh, for over five days blindfolded and denied access to their family members or lawyers kwani walikuwa wamewafunga macho eh serikali the lawyer supplied for Njenga to be taken to hospital as he was feeling unwell the lawyer said Njenga has his specialist at at Karen hospital and prayed that he be taken there the court had the second accused the person who is in jenga's brother uh, was not feeling well too the magistrate however said since the industrial area remained a prison as a medical facility the accused persons will be attended there magistrate said he will deliver his ruling on tuesday so meweza kusikia maina njenga pamoja na ndugu zake wameweza kuzuiliwa hadi siku ya jumaine ili wa, e, kipindi ambapo uh, mashtaka yao yatakuja kusoma lakini umeweza kusikia leo yani kipindi ambapo jaji atakuja kutoa hukumu lakini siku ya leo umeweza kusikia kwamba ito waliwekelewa sijuni 14 machetes 24 masai rungus pamoja na mambo mengine ambayo serikali hata sijui penye inatoa mtazamaji umeweza kuona so hayo ndio mambo ambayo yanaendelea hapa nchini uh, kipindi hicho hicho kabla hatujaweza kutamatiza kipindi hicho hicho rais mustafu bana uhuru kenyata ama uhuru wa kenyata ameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kukashifu matendo ama matamshi kutoka kwa serikali ya bwana Ruto kwamba kipindi ambapo aliweza kwenda kumuokoa mtoto wake kwamba alikuwa ametia mtindi wanasema kwamba alikuwa ametia mtindi ndio maana alikuwa na ropoko maneno lakini bwana uhuru kenyata ameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kusema kwamba yeye alikuwa soba 
na maneno ambayo alikuwa anayatamka ni ya ukweli kwamba serikali ya bwana Ruto imeamua kumwangaisha pamoja na kuweza kuangaisha familia yake mweza kuona mtazamaji kwa hivyo ilo chapisho limeweza kunipotelea kidogo ningeweza kukusoma lakini ni hayo kwamba familia ya bwana Uhuru Kenyatta imeweza ama Uhuru Kenyatta mwenye wameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kusema kwamba kipindi ambapo aliweza kusema serikali imeweza kushambulia mtoto wake na maafisa wa polisi alikuwa soba wala hakuwa mitia mtini jinsi ambavyo serikali imeanza kusema kitu cha pili ambacho wameweza kusema aa, ni kwamba kipindi kile ambapo maafisa wa polisi walikuwa wanashambulia nyumbani kwake walikuwa wanataka kuweza kuficha madawa kule huyo ni uhuru ameweza kusema mtazamaji kuficha madawa kule pamoja na kuweza kuficha uh, vifaa zana za kupita, eh, za kupigana silaha za kupigana kule ili kipindi ambapo wataenda kufanya saji wazipate kwa kombaundi ya mtoto wake Uhuru Kenyatta ili wamweke makosa ndio Kenya tuko ndio Kenya tuko anyway mtazamaji maoni yako ni yepi baada ya maina njenga kuweza kuzuiliwa mpaka siku ya Jumaine kipindi ambapo hukumu wako utakuja kutolewa Uh, umeweza kusikia meweza aliweza kuelekea kwamba alikuwa na 14 machete 24 masai rungu vitu kama hizo umeweza kusikia anyway sema nasi mtazamaji na kila ambacho nakuomba tafadhali usikose kupiga subscription na rejea na mingi zaidi jina langu ni Mr Ego 8